John Takauchi still has been rocking the Cody in pool play, mm -hmm. but has opted to use Rashid in some of the more important rounds, aka the top 16s. Mm, so we'll see okay. how that's going to work out against Sako's Minot. Yeah, yeah, and despite, you know, John Takauchi definitely being a household name, being a veteran of Street Fighter Five at this point, what I like to say when it comes to, like, players like this, it's uh, across generations, right? These are two different generations of fighting game player for real, for real, right? Sako, yes. I mean, has been a veteran. He's been around the block. There's combos named after him. He's been in this game for a very long time. Yeah. And John, you know, obviously a veteran of Street Fighter Five as well, not to be taken lightly, but he's very young still in comparison to a lot of the players, especially in Street Fighter Five. <laughs> so despite his veteran experience, I mean, Sako just has more than that in spades but they've both been in high enough level situations enough now to definitely take it either way right mm -hmm. so we'll see if john goes with the cody goes with the sheet i would love to see the cody and then Sako, of course has been playing with the mana and the seth as well so we're gonna have some some options on the table here yeah i've seen uh Sako kind of dabble with some of the new characters as well but Manat's been Ooh, like his okay. choice for the most part so let's see what the quotes are going to be for the top 16 for these players here sakonoko i was able to win some dangerous <laughs> matches and i'm playing well well enough for a W, for a win. And I got to mention, too, before we get into the next one, he took down Daigo, Ooh. Johnny, and Vanal in winner's side. So impressive, man. Yeah, Vanal is not even one of the players that we mentioned earlier. Notable absences. Like, there's it's so true. many good players in this bracket. And let's see what another one of those has to say. And John Takauchi, Sako's opponent, here's going to be... Akiki-san complimented my line stamp, so I don't think I can lose. My man, the priorities are right with my man Johnny Tack here, so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> That's going to be even more for Sako. Is like, you talking about my wife. <laughs> what are you doing complimenting John Takuchi's line stamps? Did you pay for this extra? This wasn't default. Come on, man. Mm. You <laughs> this is, the mind games from John Takauchi are strong, way beyond his years. Yeah, I, this is going to be like a, like a sort of like a father-son kind of match. <laughs> <just> <laughs> like a, I want to see, like, Sakonoko go to a different level. Like, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? What about my line stickers? Hmm? Hmm? We have a kid together. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Minot versus who knows what. Maybe Rashid, maybe Cody. Either way, we're excited to see it. Both very notable players. Takauchi also took down Mizuha 2-0 in winners. Um, put Tori Messi, who we saw in the loser side, mm -hmm. uh, down below 2-1. to one. So... We're going to see how it works out. There was other notable players, of course, going through it. Some of them I couldn't translate personally. Google Speech did not translate them correctly for me. At least I don't think so. Or Google Translate, I should say. So I'm not going to try it. All right. <laughs> we will find out when we get there. But for now, again, it's going to be Sako versus John Takauchi. Again, this is going to be for top eight winners as well in this two out of three bracket. Mm -hmm. And we're going with the tried and true for both sides here. Rashid and Minot, both characters that these players are most known for. Mm -hmm. And already into the corner, this is kind of troublesome. 83 seconds on the clock. Sako did his best to try to keep himself out, but oh, here wow. it comes. Yeah, the orb is way beyond John Takauchi as well. Sako has to hold all of this. Yeah. Nice. Just applying that stamina punch pressure. Still so good with Rashid, and then it was a guess for game right there. And mm -hmm. Sako incorrect on the first one. It's just so tough when you don't have access to the orb because you don't get access to the same kind of cancels you would do. Mm -hmm. You don't get the same kind of frame data trying to fight your way out or even apply pressure. So that's a significant deal when you're Minot. Yeah, so that big eagle spike in the neutral last round was really what won it for John, right? It kind of kept Minot from ever getting that orb again. And right now, Sako's done a great job of managing it better this time. You saw the one time he did have the orb out. It was right on top of John. Really couldn't do mm -hmm. anything. And you can see that's John Sakurai's uh, objective, right? Yeah. He can't really stop Sakonoko in this kind of offense. As soon as Sako understood the mission, he's like, all right, well, I can't throw out my orb in neutral and kind of use it as a poking tool. I'm going to make John Takeuchi, uh feel the pressure through my normals instead and making it more, way more compact if I decide to throw out the normal or throw out the orb, excuse me. That's the, the high level adjustments, right? And they're happening fast. That's what we expect again, right? Yes, yeah, super quick recall, not letting John have these. Great and job. Another great confirmation off the lights. Yeah, and you see the significant difference. If you're watching this VOD over, listen to this, right? Sakonoko, again, was trying to play passive, trying to play neutral in first round. Mm -hmm. Second round, and into this round right now, he's playing a lot more actively, aggressively. And now let's see how it all plays out from here, right? John has finally found a situation. Great cancel on the orb immediately, and then going back to mid-screen. Just really prioritizing the strength of Mana. Ooh, got caught slipping as well. Ankles exposed. And then we talked about that pressure. Now into the corner, John Takauchi gets out for free. Eagle Spike trying to, trying to readjust. Trigger is still winding down for John Takauchi. Well, Sako 
Then oppress, I don't care about your enhanced whirlwind. You got to make me respect it. And once again, Sako taking the first game like that. Bouncing back from that first round immaculately, really. Like you mentioned, just quick adjustment, staying aggressive in the neutral, not really letting John get started, making sure that he prioritized orb safety. And then we saw yes. the, the first time that the orb guy kind of got across the screen, he just canceled the normal as soon as he got it to bring mm. it back. Yeah, just great stuff. Yeah, willing to take that risk, throw out the normal, and get that cancel was absolutely pivotal because if John Takauchi had his way, we would have seen a different outcome, without a doubt. Yeah, my man was never getting that orb back. Oh, that would have been scary. Nice. Word. And the side switch? Oh, that was sick. And it caught John with the eagle spike, too. That's what he was looking for. He was trying to lock off getting that orb back. That was a great adjustment from Sako. And again, you see him looking for it now, John. A little bit conditioned, just blocking at this point. <laughs> And I like that. The little step after that minus four situation. This is actually going to be huge for John Takauchi. Don't get caught with the recall. Oh, but this is even better. We didn't oh. even get to talk about this in play with the trigger. Yeah, super smart now. Finally, we're going to see that debut here in this set for Sako. And just playing it nice and safe. Really letting the orb just intimidate John Takauchi. Take the screen back. Oh, stuff with the eagle spike as well. You could see the difference in pace. Like, John Takauchi is not allowed to play unless after, oh, even after a mistake, so right? The orb is still going to come in hot. He's this so is more than smart. enough. My man Sako just completely He's so dominated, sick, bro. Rich. He is so sick. Oh my goodness, man. I like it. The fact that he covered, you know, I'm a puppet character player. So the fact that he was covering like every option he did with one of no! those orbs, every Get out of here! option covered this time from the air as well. Sako anti air, critical art. My goodness. He was walking back. I didn't even see a single down press, no buffer. That was raw reactions. Oh, He's man. how old now? Yeah, it don't matter. He's the reactions are still pristine. Oh, oh got caught reaching there, though. There's no reacting to throws. Universal out. Yeah, no coverage. Surprisingly, John Takuchi tried to get the cover, but no, that forward medium punch just not in time. The recall has to be coming soon. And you thought you could move? That was a great time to yes. interrupt. John recognizing the fact that he still could have took his turn there and does so. Oh, and then just walking back with punishing the drill. It's going to be all Rashid exactly where he wants to be. Great button press from Sako, though. Oh, my Ooh. God. What a time to risk it all. That would have been death. Absolute death if yeah. John Takauchi got blocked. EX spinning mixer, getting himself the round, surviving another day. Yeah, you know, John really got conditioned in that first time Sako brought the V-Trigger out, right? So I'm glad he just busted out immediately. Threw Sako off his game, and now a crush counter. Tries to wake up with the buttons. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you can't do that for free. You're going to spend one bar to get critical harder? That's going to be fine, because you get to reset the situation a little bit. You're still in the corner, though. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's all right for both players, honestly, right? Like, Sako obviously gets him off a little bit closer on the life. But John Takuji still maintains the screen advantage, still has plenty of bar to work mm -hmm. with. And now having this trigger activated is going to be a little bit... You would think it'd be a little bit troublesome for Sakonoko, but he was still pressing on. Oh, he tried to find the gap. It was the first two hits, then the trail afterwards. Uh-oh! You activated? You madman! Yeah, that was a bit of an ambitious activation for sure on Sako's part, just trying to... Because he knew once he gets that V-Trigger out there, right, it's a lot of neutral control. We've seen how good he is at utilizing it. So if he manages to sneak an activation in, then maybe John feels like he's got to back off a little bit. He gets some more breathing room, but that just wasn't the case. John was still staying in his grill constantly and didn't give him the gap to activate. Oh <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect John Takauchi to really back off either way, like especially in the corner, right, throwing out that... Enhanced whirlwind, following up with the skill one, getting the roll and applying pressure in your face. Like John Takuchi was gonna take that nine times out of ten, no matter what the outcome was. Maybe like a V reversal, but that would have been like Sako's only comeback factor. Yeah, exactly. Definitely a rough spot to be in. Oh no, anti airs in place. It's gonna be fine for Sakonoko, and even better for John Takauchi sniping out. Nice, got the start with that once again, exploding the orb this time. We get switching it up a little bit. Caught him reaching. A little awkward now. The orb now within reach. This is going to be great. John Takuchi now getting started with the trigger. Watch out for the recall. The Ooh. jump over. So smart. Oh, I like that a lot. And the recall to act as the meaty. Oh. Dang. Did he hit the orb also? I think so. It he looked like the orb was the actual hit that killed him. But it didn't say two hits. That's what's blowing my mind. Yeah. Because I think he interacted with a, a fierce yes, and got hit by the orb. Yeah, I think so too. So it was like maybe just before the crouch beam kid connected with the active frames. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. That was so strange.
Snocko here on set point. John, though, already off to a good start mm -hmm. in this round. Yes. Covering, covering the, the time. Select. Yes, sir. Forward throw now. Critical art is a factor, but John Takauchi is going to make the stun happen first. I'd imagine that could have been a big confirm into the into the round. Yeah, now Sokol instead preventing John from waking up with button. Switches sides on him as well. The trigger activation freeze right there, presenting a weird opportunity, but neither player really taking advantage of it. Oh, they're going to cover himself with the orbs. Yeah, even though... The drill kick was a little unsafe. Oh, and he still had one orb left, converting. If he manages to get a frame trap or hit John Takuchi, the orb is behind him. The recall is going to happen eventually, but it's not going to do anything. It's so scary. John Takuchi is so reluctant, but he has to find an opening. You could feel the pressure coming in from John's play. Yeah, I'm not sure if he's like looking for a specific time to like try to snipe with a critical art or what, but he's definitely waiting for something, looking for a specific option to come out from Sako. <sighs> oh, boy. Oh, and Sako taking advantage of that hesitation with a walk-up throw. Very smart. And oh, now John, now you're going to change. Yeah. I mean, Sako, I think, oh, nice fears. I think Sako a bit respecting the fact that he had a reversal CA on deck. But either way, able to seal the victory. 2-1 to Sako. We're going to see him in top eight tomorrow. And I mean, that always brings a smile to my face, man. Mm -hmm. Sako, just one of the legends in the fighting game community. And uh, I've always been a big fan of the execution monsters. And he has been one of the best on that front. Yeah, not only is, you know, you, you talked about him being a, a lab monster as well. Yeah. Kind of innovating combos that are named after <laughs> yeah. Because he's the first one to do it when it comes to, like, new characters being released. He's pretty much on the grind i highly encourage you guys to check it out sako knuckle game uh on twitch he is he is an absolute fiend and you see it right there minata is not an easy character to pilot no by not. any means